Hello everyone. So for our next installment of Diamond Painting 101, we are going to talk about uh, some of the tools that come with your kit and how to use them. Um, and also some alternatives that you can use uh, instead of what's provided because there are different things out there. Um, some people would call them better, others may not. So I'm going to show you some of the things that I have on hand, um, what I've used and uh, how I feel about them. So um, as I said in the last video, um, every kit comes with a drill pen um, and a tray, of course. Um, so these are t the typical pens that you get in a kit. Um, I have my uh, box of extra goodies sitting here so I can show you some other ones. Um, here you'll see some green pens. Um, these green pa pens are a little bit different. I'll pull one out so that I can actually show you. Um, there's no metal tip in them. So basically these pink pens come and they have this little metal insert um, that slides into this plastic piece. Uh, the green pens don't have that metal insert, so the opening for them is a little bit bigger. I'll get one out that hasn't been used. Um, so some people prefer these to the pink pens, um, especially for square drills, because that opening is a little bit bigger. You can also modify a pink pen by pulling this metal part out, and I'm gonna show you how to do that in a little bit, because we also do that to clean out the tip. So, um, those are some of the ones that you might see in your kits, um, but I've yet to see, um, one that's different than that. Uh, so these pens, when they come, they're also going to come with um, wax. And you can see here, your wax might be a little square. It might be a larger rectangle. Uh, it could be a big pink square that's a lighter pink than these, or you could get blue. Um, they're all basically the same thing. Um, they're a paraffin base wax, I believe, or a beeswax. Um, it's a soft wax. Uh, you load your pen with it and it helps keep a little sticky in there so that you can pick up the drills. Um, I don't use these and you can probably tell because I have a lot of them in my stash. Um, a little goes a long way with these, so when I first started, I started with one of these tiny little squares, um, and it lasted me through three diamond paintings, I want to say. Um, you, It works perfectly fine to use the wax, um, and of course it's provided with the kit, so it's no extra expense, but I found there are some things that work a little better. Um, now, if you do decide to use these little wax squares. Um, when you load the pen, they are sandwiched in between two pieces of plastic here. So you're going to want, there you can see, there's plastic on both sides. So when you load your pen, you're gonna to wanna to peel off one of those pieces of plastic, and you can see this is one that's been used. Um, you don't need to peel them both off. Um, just one and then you're gonna take the first time you load your pen you're gonna take and you're just gonna punch a hole in there after you punch the first hole you don't need quite as much when you, your pen starts losing its grip on the diamonds um, so then you can just if you find that you need a little bit more wax I just shave a little bit off the very edge you don't need to punch a hole completely in it again you can just uh, take a little bit off the edge just to get a little bit more wax up in your tip um, and so because you're only taking little shavings off um, one of these pieces lasts a very very long time so this is the standard pink pen. Most kits come with these pink pens. Um, some stores provide these, which are really nice. They have this rubbery grip. 
Um, so if you find the smaller pens a little more difficult to hold, uh, this can uh, help your grip a little bit, ease any problems, especially if you have arthritis or carpal tunnel. Um, sometimes on these, the grip likes to move around. Oh, I can't find one that's gonna show it now. But if it does, um, you can just take a little bit of glue um, and kind of squish it back, put a dot of glue there, and then kind of smash it back up, and that will keep the grip from sliding up and down the pen. Um, these also come with tips that go on the end. You can see this one has a tip right there. I'll show you these. These hold multiple drills. So if you are doing a diamond painting that has a whole bunch of black background, just solid patches of black, you can use these to pick up multiple drills at a time. Now this smaller one um, picks up three drills. Um, there is another size, I'm gonna grab one. This one picks up Six, I believe or in that neighborhood and then there's the super large one that picks up nine so what you would do to use those is you would fill them the same way that you fill the metal tip you punch out some of your wax um, and then you would put some diamonds in your tray and now when you pile the diamonds into your tray you're just gonna shake it um, to get them to kind of flip around. Um, once you get a bunch that are lined up, you can just kind of push them down or just tilt the tray until you got a whole bunch of them in a row. And then you would take your pen with the tip on the bottom that's loaded with wax and just put it over the diamonds you want to grab. So you can kind of see I'm grabbing three there. And then when you lift it up, if this was loaded, it would take the, the drills with it, and then you can place it onto your canvas. I personally don't like these tips. I did try them on one of my paintings that had a ton of the same color for the background. Um, and I noticed that picking up multiples kind of sent my lines off center, um, and it became really noticeable um, when I had done a whole bunch. Um, for that reason, I like to hand place the drills. Um, other people use them with great success. It could just be that I'm not that particularly talented that I could place them straight. Um, but you know, by all means, you figure out what works for you. It's, you know, I've found with this that there are things that some people love and things that other people love and some people hate. And so you just gotta figure out what works best for you. Um, there are people too who don't use the pens at all. Um, and how they place their drills is by using the tweezers that come with the kits. Um, and they just individually pick them up off the tray and place them on the canvas. Um, that is way too fiddly for me. I do not have the patience. Um, but you know, for other people, it works great. And if you're doing this and you're just working on soothing and concentrating, then this might be the way to go, especially if you're very conscious of making sure everything lines up straight. Um, the tweezers can really help you position everything with precision. So um, you can also place multiples with the tweezers, especially these very, very pointed ones, which I told you earlier, are also extremely sharp. Um, so uh, to do that, you would get them lined up in your tray, like I showed you earlier, and then you just grab and you can pick up, there's three at a time, and set them on your painting. Oh, I guess I have a little sticky on my tweezers. So, um, so that's, you know, using the tweezers doesn't prohibit you from putting down multiple drills at the same time. Um, it can work just as easily. So um, that 
and that's why I don't do that because I am not as talented. So um, I just shot them across my desk. Uh, so so that's a possibility as well. So um, and then there are alternatives to using anything that came with the kit. Um, I know a lot of people swear by this little thing. Uh, this is called a pick me up pen. It's made by um, Silhouette. It's made to work with the, the Silhouette cutter uh, machine. Um, but this comes just like this. Uh, it has this, has a cap on it that I pull off. Um, it has this little piece here that screws into the base. Um, when you screw it down, the putty that's in the tip um, gets pushed forward so you don't have to keep reloading your pen. Um, it has a wider, let's see if I can line this up so you can see it, has a wider opening than a regular drill pen does. So um, some people think, or some people say that it works better with the square drills because of that wider opening. Personally, uh, oh, and I, I purchased this for uh, around $10 at Michael's. I can't remember for sure. Um, this is also reloadable, so once this putty is gone, you can unscrew it completely. And then this little thing here pulls out. And you can take some of the pink wax and smash it down in there um, and put this little plug back in and it reloads. So um, there are people who absolutely swear by this. I did not like it um, because of when I'm diamond painting, I I don't hold my drill pen like a pen. I hold it like like this, and I have this very up and down motion, um, and I'm right at the tip. So when I was trying to use this, the way I wanted to grip it was right on this ledge here, um, and it really hurt my it hurt my my finger here where it was hitting the ledge. So this is not my favorite. Um, this ended up in the drawer. So, um, but there are people who swear by it. So it is available. It's out there if you want to give it a try. Um, another option uh, are these wax pencils. You can get them on Amazon. Um, we use them at my salon for placing gems when doing nail art. Um, this has a wax core and you can sharpen it with just a regular pencil sharpener like what goes in your kid's school box, I'm sure. Um, this, uh, I found, it picks up the drills really well, so you can see, but, oh, get you in the center, it's really hard to place them with any sort of precision, so this did not end up on my favorites list. Um, they are really inexpensive though, and if you sharpen them down, uh, you can get a little bit more control. Um, but again, not my favorite. The other thing you'll find, and this one isn't doing it, of course, uh, is sometimes with these pens, the wax inside, or these pencils, the wax inside shrinks away from this plastic coating, um, and it'll it'll float. And again, same as with like this rubber grip on the drill pen, you can just put a dot of glue up inside by the end of it that you're not using, and that'll hold the wax in place for you. So, so this is an, an option, and it's a really inexpensive one, so um, it's out there for you. These are available on Amazon, I think. I'll have the link up on my blog uh, once this goes live. So, The other thing um, is a homemade pen. This is a pen that I bought at Staples, and I took all the guts out. And you can see it's Staples brand, so it's right on there. I took all the guts out of it, um, and I filled the empty space with some of my extra drills uh, left over from a project. And then what I did was I took the tip of a diamond paint, uh, a drill pen and cut it off right about here um, with a plastic. And then I took that and slid it in where the ink cartridge was before uh, with a little bit of super glue. And I smashed everything down and let it dry. Um, so this gives you the precision of the drill pen that comes with the kit because you're using the metal tip from it in a pen that's got a little bit uh, of a thicker grip. Um, these are super popular. You can purchase them. Um, there are some, uh, 
Etsy stores that make them. Um, some really beautiful ones out there too, filled with crystals and things. Um, and a lot of people really love them because it's just got enough extra grip here to be comfortable. You can go find any width or thickness pen um, and make your own. So if you like a really fat pen, uh, you can find one and, and make your own diamond painting pen. Again, even though I made this, it's not my favorite. And the reason is because this comes down to a spot um, where it's still kind of thick where the diamond is. So I was finding that when I was uh, putting diamonds in between other diamonds, I was actually pushing them away from the diamond I was placing. Um, because this has got a little bit more space between the plastic and the metal, uh, I'm able to get it in there without disrupting the diamonds next to it. Now, I'm sure I could probably find a pen that had a narrower tip, um, but so far I haven't really found one that I like to try and make a new one. So, um, so this one isn't for me, but it's uh, something that you can do or try if you like. And the last one that I have sitting here is this little cutie. I purchased him on Amazon. Uh, it's also available on, I've seen them on Wish and AliExpress. Um, really inexpensive. It lights up. So you push the button on the side and it has a LED light in the tip. Um, the tip itself is exactly like these tips. I do believe you can pop it out and switch it if you need to. Um, this for me, I keep in my traveling kit because sometimes I have small kits that I, I keep in a box I can take with me so that if I have to sit someplace, I have something to do. Um, I've been known to diamond paint in the car, um, but my eyes aren't the greatest anymore. So having this light, then no matter what type of lighting conditions I'm working on, I can still see my canvas to place my drills correctly. So um, I love him, but really don't use him unless I'm in a condition or in conditions where the lighting isn't the greatest. Uh, obviously he's got batteries inside. You can replace those. You just pull off his little head uh, and then you unscrew this bottom piece. And then this pops apart and the batteries are inside. So replaceable batteries and all the best benefit or all the benefits of using a pen like this with a nice tip. Uh, it's also a little thicker. So somebody who has problems holding the smaller pen may like this one better. So um, again, I'll provide the link to where I purchased him, um, but I know that he's also available um, on AliExpress and Wish, probably for cheaper, but you have to wait for shipping because it's coming from China. So, so another option. So now that I've kind of gone through some of the pens that you can use, um, we're going to talk about what you can put in the pen because I alluded to that earlier. I don't use the wax that comes in the kit. Um, it's perfectly fine for some people. Uh, my, my daughter diamond paints and she prefers it. Um, not for me though. So some of the alternatives that you can use, um, this is poster putty. Um, it's also called Loctite or hang tack. Um, different companies make different kinds or have different names for it. I know Aline's has some, um, I get this on Amazon. I use it in my salon to hang pictures on the walls, um, but it's just a sticky putty. So a lot of people love this and I used it for a very, very long time. You would load it just like you load the wax. You can kind of stretch it out a bit and punch it through. Um, or you can take and just tear off a little piece, even smaller than that, uh, roll it into a ball and, and smash it into the tip of the pen. Um, these, using this, the advantage over the wax is uh, it doesn't dry out as quickly. Uh, it's also very sticky, so uh, it holds the drills really well on the pen. Um, and it lasts for quite a while, so you can place probably at least double the amount of drills that you can with the wax before you need to reload. Um, like I said, I use this for a very long time. It's not what I use anymore, and I'm going to show you what I use. Um, I use this stuff called floral clay. 
Uh, it comes in a roll like this. Uh, and that is one of the things I like because it's thin like the wax, so it's really easy to punch out a piece. Um, it's inexpensive. I think I purchased this roll for around 3 or $4 on Amazon. Uh, you can also get it at Michael's, Hobby Lobby, uh, Walmart in the craft department, the, you know, where the, the flowers and floral foams and stuff are. Um, this is going to last me for the rest of my life. If I diamond paint for the rest of my life, I will probably still have this roll. Um, and the way I use it is I don't keep it on this roll. This will, uh, it does dry out when it's exposed to the air. So I don't use it off the roll. I keep that sealed in this little baggie. Instead, what I've done is I took this little container um, and put a little piece in the lid. And then anytime that I need to redip, you can see my holes where I initially punched to load my pen. And anytime I need a little more, I just shave it off the edge um, and then get some more in my pen. And then I just pop the lid back on to keep it nice and fresh. So I use the floral clay. It is my absolute favorite over all the things I've tried. Um, I like it more than the blue tack because it's a little stickier. Um, but it still has the uh, the um, you know consistency of the blue tack. It stays in the pen really well. Um, it doesn't dry out as quickly as the pink wax. So those are the benefits of it. So um, so those are some of the different things that you can use uh, for your your pen and in your pen. And now I'm going to show you how to clean out your drill pen because. What happens is you can see it on this one, I think. Um, after a time, there's actually a vent hole in this little metal piece. Um, and after a time, as you're pushing down on those drills, the stuff that's in your pen starts going through that vent hole and coming up into the base of your pen. Um, and once that starts drying out, it gets really difficult to reload it. So every once in a while, I find that if I clean out my pen completely, um, and reload it that it just works a little better for a, a little longer. So um, I have this thing. It's a little tool I got um, to resize a watch band. Um, and I use this to, I'll use it to kind of like stir up the clay in my pen sometimes when I'm losing some adhesion. But I can also use it to kind of get in here and get the old clay out. Um, is work it out a little bit at a time. Uh, you don't need to. You don't need to go find one of these. It's just my little trick. Um, the other thing that you can use to do that is the tweezers, especially these nice, very sharp, pointy tweezers. Um, sorry, that is my dog barking at the mailman. <laughs> So you can just kind of use one of the, the points of the tweezers to get in there and dig out some of that old clay. Um, but the thing about it is, is that cleans out um, this, the, the front end of the pen, but it doesn't do anything about what's gone through that vent hole in the back. So to do that, you just get a pair of your handy dandy pliers. Um, sometimes you can do it with your hand, it depends. You don't want to like squish it. If you squish it, you're going to turn your round tip into an oval tip. Uh, you just want to kind of use the pliers to grab it and just give the pen a little twist and pull and that metal tip comes right out. See now this is what I was saying, those green pens that don't have the metal tip, I just created one out of a pink pen. So if you want to try using a pen like that, um, you can make your own super easily, even if you don't get the green pen in any of your kits. So, um, but once you have this tip out of the pen, you can pull out all of that old clay from the vent hole side as well. Um, using your tweezers or anything else, you just kind of like stick them in and dig it out until you basically have a clean, a clean tip. Um, when you're making your own diamond pens too, if you're using, you know, an old ink pen, um, instead of cutting it off here, depending on the tip, I've also um, taken just the metal tip out um, and put it over the, the ink cartridge, uh, over the ballpoint, and just kind of jammed it in there, and that 
works to hold it as well. You can glue it onto the ink cartridge if you want. And then you actually can have a retractable pen because the mechanism would still work. So, um, so that's something that you can try. But um, I haven't cleaned mine out just for time, but you're completely, but yeah, you can really get in there and get it all clean. And then when you're reloading it um, the next time, you're gonna find that it's gonna go in really easy and um, things are gonna stick just a lot better. And there you can see me, I just punched a hole out of my floral clay. And the first time you do it, it sticks out a little bit. I just kind of give it a tap down. Um, and I'm probably going to need to reload it relatively quickly because this green floral clay is thinner than the pink wax, so it doesn't fill it up quite as, let me get the one that's out, it doesn't fill it up quite as quickly um, as the wax does, so I usually I'll place a few drills and then punch another hole, and then it'll work fine after that for quite a long time. So, so that's how you load your pen. Um, and clean your pen and uh, and then once you get it clean it's and load it up it's gonna pick up drills like a dream and hold on to them um, and once you find that your pen is not grabbing onto those drills as nicely as you like you're dropping them they're falling in your lap um, just grab a little extra wax and or wax or floral clay or Loctite just you know like I said shave some off from the side here to fill it up again and you'll be ready to go so um, I think that covers uh, the drill pens if you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask them in the comments I will answer them the best I can either in the comments or in the next video um, for links to everything I've shown here, um, please visit my blog. The link for that will be in the comments on YouTube. Um, and of course, you can ask me questions there or ask me in the YouTube comments and I'll, I'll do my best to answer them. Until next time, happy diamond painting. Thanks.